Oklahoma veterans are headed to the nation's capital. More than 50 veterans and their guests took off from Tulsa International Airport this afternoon for a freedom tour in Washington, D.C. Two News reporter Katie Kelleher shares what this trip means for those who served our nation. It was a party in Terminal B at the Tulsa International Airport Wednesday afternoon as 55 veterans and guests waited for their flight to Washington, D.C. for the Northeast Oklahoma Veteran Freedom Tour. Before the airport, they left from Pryor, where citizens lined the street to send them off. Once in the Capitol, Voltour Memorials, Arlington Cemetery, and Mount Vernon. You know, some of them want to go see these things because it's, it's, it represents what they fought for and what they did for us. But for the most part, it's really about being a, a family and a community with each other. The group raised about $35,000 for the trip. It was their fourth attempt at taking it after the previous ones were postponed due to COVID-19. They say they're one of the first veterans groups to fly out of Tulsa since the pandemic began. Henry Ward says he's looking forward to getting to know other veterans on the trip. Some of them were there the same time I was in Vietnam and, and did their tour the same, same years. You know, it's around the same age. The Freedom Tour is different from an honor flight, which is usually for veterans from older eras. This trip is for all veterans, like Brandon Jones, who served in Afghanistan. He went with the group to Vicksburg, Mississippi a year and a half ago and found a place he could fit in after suffering anxiety from his service. I opened up a little bit more with some other combat vets and it helped me kind of feel more comfortable talking about certain things that I've was kind of hard for me to talk about. Jones is bringing his father to D.C. while Ward is bringing his son Marty, giving them a chance to bond and for the veterans to share a part of their life with their loved ones. Tomorrow's never guaranteed. So every day I can spend with my dad is, you know, that's one for the books right there. As they prepare for takeoff, excitement builds for the days ahead, a trip honoring those who sacrificed for their country. We just don't give them enough credit, you know. We, we take our freedoms for granted, I think, sometimes, and, and they're the reason why we have those freedoms, you know. They gave so we could have, and it's, it's time to get back. <laughs> In Tulsa, Katie Kelleher, 2 News.